Hi, this is Jeff with iPhone Download Blog. Today we're going to talk about SB settings. Really, SB settings in itself is reason enough to jailbreak your iPhone. Because what it allows you to do is to manage your uh, the functionality of your iPhone from anywhere, from any app, anywhere on your home screen, and you can access SB settings. Now, how does this work? Well, SB Settings uses something called Activator, which is another tweak in itself. And what Activator allows you to do is to load up certain apps or load up certain tweaks uh, by means of shortcuts. So, for instance, Activator uh, is set up to load SB Settings when I swipe down on my status, status bar here. Now, the status bar is the bar that contains the time, uh, your battery percentage, your signal, um, things like that. So if I swipe down on this uh, status bar, SB settings loads up. What it has here are what they call toggles. Now these toggles allow you to do different functions. For instance, you can toggle 3G on or off. You can toggle Bluetooth on or off. You can um, change your brightness. Uh, you can turn on your Wi-Fi connectivity. So you can see how this would be useful. Otherwise, if you didn't have SB settings, you had to go in your settings app, then you have to load up, see how long that takes, then you have to load up your brightness, then you have to adjust your brightness. See, with SB settings, you can be in any app, you don't have to close out. You can just swipe down, adjust your brightness right there on the fly. And you don't even have to close out the app that you're in. Now, that's not the only thing it allows you to do. It allows you to check your Wi-Fi IP address. Say you're having some problems uh, with connectivity. You can check right there on the fly from any app whether or not you have a valid IP address. You can check your data IP address. You can check the amount of storage. You can check the amount of memory. But that's not all SB Settings offers. There's also the More option, which has a ton of different uh, settings and tweaks you can enable. You can change your activate, activation methods. Uh, I have Activator set to load SB Settings when I swipe down on the status bar. But that's not the only way you can uh, load up SB Settings. You can uh, double tap on your home key, for instance. There's other ways you can do so. Not only that, you can set different themes. Uh, you have different options. You can set which toggles appear and which do not. You can also hide various icons on your home screen. So if there's an app icon you don't want to appear there, you can make it disappear. Then you can also disable or enable the various tweaks using the mobile substrate add-ons section. So all the tweaks you download from Cydia, you don't have to uninstall those if you don't want them activated. You just go into SB settings, turn them on or off using the mobile substrate add-on section. So this is just a, an extremely useful tool. It's reason enough alone to jailbreak your iPhone. One of the most handy features though about SB settings is that you can manage your power uh, options directly uh, from SB settings and you can also respring your iPhone which is instrumental especially if your iPhone starts running slow uh, you can clear everything out just hit respring and re respring your iPhone I highly highly recommend that you download SB settings if you haven't already this is Jeff with iPhone download blog